In this video, Nick Griffin will be giving us a rundown of what to expect during our live Q&A webinar, which will be hosted by our distribution partners, GSFM, on March 1st. Nick, turning to you, what can people expect in the live Q&A? Yeah, so, so obviously we're, the first thing we're going to have to touch on is performance. Uh, it was a difficult year for growth equities last year and, and I think most people will be interested as to how we're going to recover from that in, in, in 2023. Um, so then the next thing we're obviously going to be talking about is, um, is, is, is uh, market outlook. Uh, where we are constructive markets in the year ahead. We do feel we are coming to the end of this, this COVID-induced adjustment or this interest rate-induced adjustment. And so our outlook is, is, is quite constructive. Um, then we'll obviously talk about current positioning. We, we always talk about where the fund's positioned uh, to benefit from that constructive outlook and, and what are the key areas of interest that we're looking at. And then lastly, you know, most importantly, what's exciting for us is having had this big adjustment last year, uh, through via interest rates, when the market can now and, and, and stocks should now go back to looking at their earnings growth. Uh, and there we're going to do what we've always done, which is identify the key areas of structural growth in the world and those key areas of structural growth that equal earnings growth. And so from our point of view, as we head into 2023, that's clearly AI uh, and the silicon demand that's going to be required to drive these new big AI engines. Um, secondly, that's, that's China reopening. Um, it's very exciting to have one and a half billion Chinese consumers back back on the road again and, and how you can benefit from that. And lastly, you know, we've got a couple of exciting things to tell you about in healthcare that we think are really big opportunities in the year ahead. Uh, so that's the main body of what we're going to be covering, Taylor. So what are the next steps? We'd love to hear from you. Make sure you register for the webinar to get the access link. And if you want your question answered on the webinar, make sure you submit early by emailing us at contact at and we look forward to welcoming you on March 1st.